Ruben from Hamburg, Germany. I'll talk you through some of the profiles from the Ace Rig Pack that I found really useful for my everyday playing. The first one I want to show you is the Koch Power Tone, which uh, is a really amazing clean amp. It has a very, very clear tone and really, really lends itself to a lot of different styles, I find. The next profile I'll be showing you is a, is a profile based on a JCM900. It's just a basic and fairly dry crunch sound I find really useful. For a lead tone, I used the um, the Cornford MK52 profile that Ace made. It really lends itself to some sweet lead playing with its, its immense lower mid push. It's really sweet. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
especially with this profile of the Cornford amp, I really found that it really, really captured the original amp tone really, really well. Um, it really has this that sustaining singing. <laughs> cleans up just as well. You just roll back on your volume pot a bit. Just thin the sound out a bit. But you can even go back further than that. Koch power tone that I demonstrated that I showed you guys earlier, it really, it can really take a, a fairly thick sounding neck humbucker and transform it into a very clear sounding, a very clear sounding one, it's really... It doesn't, you don't sacrifice any of the warmth of the neck humbucker, but it really brings out the clarity clears the sound up nicely. Very nice. To embellish the Koch power tone I added some, uh, some, some, some healthy dose of reverb. Give it some sense of space. And for even more additional ambience I can kick in the delay I programmed. That has a fair bit of modulation on it, as you can hear. I run it in parallel with the reverb, so the two don't affect each other. They just, they just coexist, and they have a similar length in the, in, of the trail. really add a nice wash of reverb and delay under the original sound and then I can kick in this um, actually I'm gonna have to check the hyper chorus I used for this one it's a uh, it's Kemper's take on a multi-line chorus kind of 80s chorus sound and it really really gives it a nice nice dreamy flavor <laughs> kind of uh, on the cornford um, mark 52 I used also a type of delay effect just to get a little a little air around the notes when you're playing <laughs> It's not, it's not a really dramatic delay effect, you don't really hear it as I'm playing. I used, um, I used the analog delay algorithm and just... It's not real loud, it gets out of the way if you're playing quickly. doesn't muddy it up, just gives it a nice nice bit of air on the top. Last but not least, let me tell you something about the newly introduced Pure Cap feature. Um, you can find it in the output menu right here on page 5. Basically what it does is it adds the Pure Amp sound back into your signal, so whereas the camper usually sounds like an amp being mic'd and then you're listening back to it in the control room, this feature introduces some of that some of that sound that you get when standing right in front of your cabinet back into the back into the final tone. I have it engaged right now and I did for all the sounds I showed you. If I take it out
you can hear some of those some of those lower mids that really make the sound missing if I turn it back on. It adds some of those really juicy mids back into the equation and also rounds off the top end nicely. I want to show you the pure cap feature on the Koch Power Tone 2 on the clean preset I used earlier. The Power Tone is an inherently uh, clear but also very very bright amp. If you don't watch it, it can really it can really take your head off. But the pure cap feature, without having to do much EQing to the sound, was a really nice way of taming some of those some of those really extreme highs. This is the pure cap disengage. I'm putting it back on. And again it adds some fullness in the mid-range. It smooths out the sound on top. Quite nicely. Lastly, I also want to show you what the what the pure cap feature does for that awesome crunch tone we got out of the JCM 900 profile. You can really hear those important mid frequencies for the guitar really, really dominantly in this tone. And if we turn the pure cap off. I personally am missing some of those, so let me let me show you step by step what the pure cap does. You can not only enable it or dis disengage it, but you can also blend it in bit by bit. This is the pure cap off, and this is the pure cap engaged in its lowest setting. Not much of a change so far. And now let me slowly dial it in to show you what it does. You can already hear it taking effect quite, quite a bit. Let me kick it up a notch further. Now this, now we're getting into the range that I feel is the sweet spot of this control, at least for this sound because you can really, really hear those awesome natural low mids come in at, at this point. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna turn it up all the way. Not a bad sound in that range, in my opinion. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for checking us out. This, uh, this is it for this episode of That Rig Show. My name's Ruben. See you next time.